Hi everyone. Do you have a loose canvas that you need to tighten, but it doesn't have slots for stretcher keys? Let's see if we can tighten loose canvas without them using just water. In the paint by numbers video from a while ago, I showed you how the canvas was a bit loose and wrinkled. It's actually not too bad, but you can see the shadows on the wrinkles when you're looking at it from certain angles, and if you shake it, you can actually hear the canvas flopping. So I'd like to try and tighten it a bit. The canvas also did not come with stretcher keys and the slots for them to tighten it. One way to make the canvas tighter would be to remove the staples from the back and re-stretch the canvas with a staple gun. That's probably a good idea to do before painting on the canvas. But since I've already painted this, I'd prefer to try something less invasive. It's an acrylic painting, by the way, and it's not varnished yet, and in fact it's not even finished yet. So an option that I found online, and that one of you also suggested in the comments on the Paint by Numbers video, is to spray it with water from the backside. There were mixed opinions about it, as there are with anything art supply and technique related. But anyway, some people found that this wasn't a permanent solution, that the canvas will get loose again over time, and you need to repeat this procedure eventually. Others thought that the water might make the canvas moldy. So you have been warned. Some instructions said to pour the water on the back of the canvas, and others to spray it but not soak it in water. So I put warm water in a spray bottle and tried to spray it evenly on the back side of the canvas. I think my spray bottle wasn't the best for this, or maybe I was spraying too close, since it didn't really make a mist, but you can actually see the water drops coming out, and some parts of the canvas are visibly wet and soaked, and others look dry. I tried to rub the water in with my hand, and spray over the dry looking areas again to get the water in there evenly. Then you should dry the canvas in sunlight, or you can dry it faster with a hair dryer, which is what I did with a low heat setting. Some parts still looked wet though, but I did notice an instant difference in the canvas. As you saw before this, you could shake the canvas and hear the fabric flopping around, whereas afterwards you can't hear anything if you try shaking it. So it's definitely tighter instantly. I don't know how much of that you can see or hear on camera, but in person I can tell that there's a difference. I did notice that now the edges seem to be puckering, which I don't remember happening before the water spraying. But let's let it dry completely and see what the canvas is like after that. I let it lean against the wall with the painted side towards the wall so the wet side is in the open. I checked the painting a couple of hours later and it looked completely dry and the fabric did not flop around, it still felt tight but the corners were still puckering. I'm not sure if that's because I didn't spray the canvas evenly enough. I'm interested to see in a year or so whether the canvas has stayed tight or if it eventually gets loose again. If you didn't see me paint this paint by numbers, click on the video on the screen now. I shared some tips I learned while painting it and almost ruined the whole thing by painting outside in the wind. Thanks for watching. Bye.